In this video I show you 6 ingenious cleaning tricks with baking soda that you should definitely know. Therefore be sure to watch the video until the end. All these tricks work with baking powder, but you can also use baking soda. We start with cleaning trick number 1. This is about stains in the carpet. Because surely you know it, sometimes something runs out here or somehow else such a stain lands on your carpet. In best case you would like to remove this stain as easily as possible and this can be done with baking soda. To do this, take a bag of baking soda and sprinkle it directly on the stain. Then you can take a brush like this one and work the baking soda into the stain, so that it really gets into the fibers. After that, take a spray bottle with warm water and spray everything well. This should also make it start to foam a little. Once you've done that, you're going to have to wait a little bit, because now you should let everything soak in really well, which can sometimes take a few hours until it's completely dry. After that you just have to vacuum the stain. This will remove the excess baking soda and the stain will also disappear. This is how easy it is to remove a stain from a carpet with just a little baking soda. If something is still visible you can repeat the process. After the second time, at the latest, the stain should be history as you can see here. Cleaning trick number 2 is about the joints in the tiles. Because even if you regularly wipe your grout lines and sweep them, you have the problem that the grout lines get dirtier and dirtier over time. Because the wiper does not make it to the joints and so some dirt ends up there which ensures that the grout discolors over time. You can also use conventional baking powder for this. Take a bag of baking powder, put it in a bowl and add a little water. It should not be too much. Now take an old toothbrush and mix everything well with it. And with this mess you can now clean your joints. Go in here with the toothbrush and rub it through your joints. As you can see after a short time the joints become much brighter and everything looks much nicer. After that it's best to wipe over it again with a damp cloth so that you also get the remaining remnants of the baking soda water mixture removed here and then you can already see a clear difference in the joint here. I have now cleaned only a small piece of the joint with it and I think you can see here really very clearly the color difference. The joints that I have here are grey anyway which means they will not be white anyway. But you can already see that most of the dirt was removed with it. And this way you can also just clean your grout lines with baking soda or baking powder. Tip number 3 is about the sink or the drain. Over time it can happen that the water no longer flows properly simply because dirt and other deposits accumulate in the drain and clog it more and more. If it's not quite that bad yet and the water still drains off, you can also remedy it with some baking soda. In my case you can already see that the water doesn't really drain well. But if we turn off the faucet right away then you can see it's still draining off. It just takes quite a long time and for this you can just use a package of baking soda. Dump it down the drain and then we also need one more ingredient to get the full effect. And that is vinegar. I now dump about 120 ml of vinegar down the drain. This should then foam clearly visible and also audible. You will then notice that the effect here is already developing its full force. If you then turn on the faucet fully after a short exposure time, you will also see that a lot comes up from the drain. After that it should flow much better as you can see in my case now. This way you can get your drain much clearer with some baking soda. Trick number 4 is about the oven, because over time this usually doesn't look so nice anymore. In my case it's already really dirty. And we can also clean this with a little baking soda and I would like to show you how it works. For this you take a pot which you can also put in the oven. Here you put in some baking soda. I now put 2-3 to three packages of baking soda in here and then also some water. This I now also tip into the pot and then you hear how it clearly starts to foam. All this is now stirred well and then you should start to wipe out your oven with this mess. That means I spread it everywhere in the oven with a sponge. So that in the end there is really something of this baking powder water mixture everywhere. When you have rubbed in all these stains and all the dirty spots you should also put the pot 
where there should still be some of this baking powder water mixture into the oven. Now we turn it on to about 100 degrees Celsius for an hour. So we let it run now. Afterwards it looks like this. And even if it looks worse than before you can easily remove most of the dirt. Take a damp cloth or sponge and wipe everything thoroughly. After that you can see that most of the dirt has been removed. In some places you may have to scrub a little more or repeat this process if there are very burnt in stains. But otherwise the oven is completely clean again and all that thanks to a little baking soda and water. Here you can see the before and after result. And then we come to cleaning trick number 5. Here I have now something burnt on my ceramic hob. This is of course quite annoying, but again we can take some baking soda to help us clean it again. Again in combination with vinegar. We also add the juice of half a lemon and then a sachet of baking soda. As you can see there doesn't have to be a lot of liquid here, because we want to create such a nice gentle solution in the end. We now spread this all over the burnt areas. That is, I dump it out now as you can see and spread it some more so that it can then really develop the full effect everywhere on the burnt in spots. After that it's time to wait. You have to wait about 30 minutes. In that time the whole thing should harden a bit and now we just have to wipe over once and everything is gone. This means that the incrustations and burnt in areas are no longer present and this way you can also clean your stove with a little vinegar, lemon juice and baking soda if something is burnt on. That was cleaning trick number 5 with baking soda. And then we come to our last cleaning trick which is number 6. And this is about the toilet, because you can actually clean the toilet super easy with baking soda in combination with cola. All you need is a bottle of cola and a bag of baking soda. We start by distributing the cola in the toilet. Of course you can also use stale old cola that doesn't taste good anymore. We now tip this into the toilet so that there is really something of the cola everywhere. A small bottle is sufficient here of course completely. When you have distributed this in the toilet you take the bag of baking soda to hand and also distribute the baking soda here in the toilet. Again make sure that some of the baking soda sticks everywhere. Now you have to let the whole thing act. You should wait about an hour before you start cleaning with the toilet brush. If you now wipe everywhere for a long time and flush everything thoroughly you can see that the toilet is really nice and clean again. And that's all the cleaning tricks with baking soda. If you now want to know 10 incredible cleaning tricks with shaving cream, watch the video which I link to you at this point in the video. If you liked the video then I would be really happy about a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and activate the bell so you don't miss any new video.